Look what I got. The package from Sendico finally came through. So, your boy's got some Game Boys. It's arrived like half hour ago, so I'm excited to open it up and get into it because I want some more Game Boys. Yeah, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but when this comes through, you know you got to. So here we are with some Game Boys. Okay, so first of all, I want to address something. Oh, I'm already excited. Um, one, Sendico packages stuff so well. If you don't know what Sendico is, you probably do. But if you don't know what Sendico is, it's a proxy server so that you can buy stuff from Japan without a Japanese address. You buy it from Japan, they send it to a warehouse, and then that warehouse then packages it all together, a bunch of different orders, they send it to you anywhere in the world. And I got some Game Boys. Ooh. All right, first of all, all right, I need to say something. Um, the Game Boys I got, I pretty much paid around, per Game Boy, I pretty much paid around a normal price that you'd pay for a good condition Game Boy from Japan, but I deliberately got bad ones, except for a couple. Like, I think one of these yellow ones I know is like pretty much mint, but I got bad ones deliberately because I want to do videos on fixing them. So there's a few burnt out screens, there's a few stickers on the shelves and just grubbiness. So, all right, shush, let's get into it. First of all, I'll get these out of the way. I know what these are. These are just some um, games. Well, one game apparently. Wow, that's packaged very well for one game. And it is actually, oh, very gross, but Pokemon Red. Look at that. It'll get a nice clean up, but yeah, later on. Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, first of all, I really wanted a yellow Game Boy Pocket. Um, because it's the exact one I had as a kid, which stopped working, but probably would have been an easy fix. But being like seven years old, I didn't know how to pull apart and fix Game Boys. So I really wanted to get another one, and here we go. I think this is, it's in pretty good condition. Um, oh, I'm just gonna put some, oh, it's got batteries in it. Oh, that's sick. All right, let's see if it works. Straight out the box. Look at it. Hang on, we'll test Pokemon Red. I'm just, just getting, getting right into it. No cleaning, no nothing. Let's just see if it works. Ah, uh, Pokemon Red's not reading. Give us a sec. <sighs> Classic Nintendo things. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. The sound? Turn it up. You ready? Brace yourself. Ah! Oh. Look at the game! Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if there's a save file in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, there is! Oh, there's a save battery's mint as well. I don't know if you can see that. But, there's a save on there. It's all in Japanese, so I can't read that. But that's cool. Oh, alright, so first Game Boy, yeah. Yellow Game Boy Pocket. This will get pulled apart and get a nice clean. Hopefully it'll just come up looking really mint. Stick is in really good condition. It's got batteries in it. And oh, well, let's look for corrosion. Obviously there's no corrosion because it starts every go. Yeah, nah, there's nothing in there. Um, oh, that's, that's awesome. And that's the first thing and I'm already this excited. Oh, all right, that one's gone to the side. And all right, this one, there's another one. I didn't intend to buy two, but then I saw one by itself in a listing and I was like, I got it. So I ended up getting two of them, and here we are. Okay, so this one's got a bit of screen burn in it. It's the tiniest bit of screen. Oh, I don't know about the tiniest bit. You, hey, there you go, you can catch that. So that needs a new screen there, or a new polarizer or anything, but I wonder if it still works anyway. There's no batteries in it. There's, oh, like the tiniest little bit of corrosion on the spring there, but nothing that would affect it, I don't think. Authentic. Japanese batteries. Oh. oh. Screen burn's not even that noticeable. And it starts straight away. Alright, let's test Pokemon Red on this one. I'd get another Game Boy game, but Pokemon Red's here. May as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a bit quiet, but that's because the volume's down. That'll help. Okay, so there's actually a couple scuffs on the screen lens as well. And it's Oh, okay. That's volume up all the way and it's very like... 
You hear that? No idea if you can. Okay, so it does work, but the volume wheel needs a good clean out. It's very crackly. There's a bit of screen burn, which you, you can catch really badly on an angle, but when you're looking at it dead on, it's really not that bad. But that'll probably get a new screen as well, or a polarizer, I'm not sure yet. And a good clean too. So that's two. I think I got eight Game Boys. I think there's eight in here. It's mainly pockets, if I'm honest. Mainly Game Boy pockets, because they're my favorite. Oh, that gold is awesome. Look at that, that's so tidy. Um, if you're wondering why I'm showing the back, it's because I already know it was in the front. Oh, look at that screen. Okay, I had no clue that this shell was in such good condition. That's awesome. Like, has it been used? There's no wear on it. Is, is there anything on the screen? I can't, like, oh. It's just the, the polarizing lens. It's a bit cactus, but... And crank her on. Oh! She's on. Can't really see much on the screen. Oh, sounds good. Pokemon Red, let's go again. Third time's the charm. How good. Volume wheel is sweet. Contrast, maybe? Yeah, that's not gonna... Oh, there you go. You can kind of see a bit more now. But, yeah, that, that needs a new screen desperately. But, oh my god, that's, that gold is such good condition. Oh, nice. All right, on to the next one. There's some games here. A lot of these come in bundles. Um, so I know there was one of them, one or two that had quite a few games in it. It's got a little case for it. Look at the little, ugh. All right, I don't have a Wonder one, so this is probably gonna go storage somewhere in the cupboard. That's, that's nice though. What game is that? Romancing Saha, yep. My favorite. Okay, and we go, oh, look at this. A little Dr. Mario. Oh, that's cool. All right, and what was this one? Oh, there's two more here. Final Fantasy IV and something Derby Stallion. That sounds exciting. Okay, we got another Game Boy here, although I'm pretty sure it's purple and it's not a pocket, which could only mean that it's a Game Boy Color. Oh, let's get this open. Oh, that's nice. That's in good condition as well. Wow, they looked worse in the photo. Okay, here I am telling you I bought the worst ones deliberately. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, okay, never mind, I remember now. There's, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there's oh, lots of corrosion in there. I don't, oh, that side too. I don't know if it works. Let me see if I've got some double A's lying around. Double A. Spin them for a bit of good luck. And then, what am I doing over the side here? Crank it on, please, please, please. What? Is there sound? Oh, I don't know if it'll play sound, there's no game in it. What are we doing? That is Minty Fresh Boy. All right, um, ah, Pokemon Red, why not? I don't have a Game Boy Color game here, so you're gonna have to deal with this stuff. Oh, that's not gonna work. Try it again. Oh man, how is there that much corrosion in it? But it works fine. Also, the purple, it's in good condition. Like, I bought this thinking that it was pretty rough. But, I mean, I saw, I did see, I did see the corrosion in the back. But, I thought the rest of it looked pretty, pretty rough, but... Nah, she's, she is good. And she's working, I mean, obviously the corrosion will need a nice clean out. But, other than that, like, oh. Nice. This is my favorite one. Now, if you see through the packet that it's pink, your brain might be thinking, oh, he's got a Hello Kitty edition. Well, I don't. <laughs> I've just overpaid for a, uh, for a normal pink one. Ah, oh, look at it. And the back, I went out of my way to go and look for the worst Game Boy I could find on Sendico. And even though the screen's in good condition, it's it's yellowed, it's got stickies all over it. It's, yeah, and believe it or not, I paid the exact same price. I think it was 2,000 yen before Sandico's fees and everything like that. The exact same price for this with Pokemon Red. All right, I'll admit, it was this, the same price as this one. Exact same price. 
Um, yep. <laughs> Just because I wanted one that was terrible and like bad condition. I don't know if it works, although it doesn't look like there's too much corrosion in there or anything. Close it up. And I tell you what, we're not going to put Pokemon Red in. We're all sick to death of Pokemon Red now. Let's grab Kirby Streamlight. Here we go. Oh, that felt a bit weird. Turn on, nothing. Ah, uh, we gotta have fun with this one. What if I, I'll just do the classic spin the batteries. Oh, there we go. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, the contrast wheel's a bit, how you going? Hope you're all dancing at home, because I am. What a bot. No, I'm not going to start playing that. I'll play for ages. Okay, well, that's cool. That works. Look at the Pikachus. Ah, I don't know if I want to clean them off. That's awesome. But I will be because <laughs> this game was horrendous. Ah, uh, Spire DMG. So I don't know if this one works either. There was no photo of it on. There was no details of it. It's a bit yellowed. It's got the little cap there. That's cool. That's right. A little bit of a... Flippy floppy action. Ooh, in there looks pretty good. Don't judge me for my generic batteries, please. There we go, and oh, what do you reckon? Plus your bets. Look at that. Here I am telling you I bought the worst Game Boys I could. Oh, Bob. Stop. Um, this one's mint. It just, all right, it's pretty grotty in there if I'm honest. Like, oh, I'll turn that down so you're not being deafened. It's pretty grotty in, in, uh, 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 that, but, and it's a little yellowed, and we got a flappy, flappy lens, but other than that, I mean, if it plays games, I'm happy. Oh. How do they, they package, they go overboard with their packaging. Although the squeaks, I don't like the squeaks. Okay, so we got a double whammy here. Little pocket and colour. One at a time, whatever falls out first. Okay, pocket. Ooh. Oh, the texture of that's so rough. Oh, poor thing. I hope that it works. Okay, in there. Come on, do your thing. Nothing. What am I doing? I'll spin the batteries. Little Game Boy massage. Back on. Off on. Look at that. I mean, well, it's a black screen, but oh, that contrast wheel is very. How you going? Oh, volume wheel too. It does work. It just needs a nice tidy up. Oh, this would be a good one. I'm I'm keen to make a video on this. Needs a new lens, obviously, as well, and screen like. Ah, uh, that's, oh, grody. On to the next one. The Game Boy Color. It's not in bad shape. It's, uh, the plastic's a tiny bit yellow and it's a bit dirty, but, and it's got this weird mark on the screen. It's basically a lens burn. Yeah, screen burn, that's the one. And first go. Oh, there we go, second go. Nice. All right, for this one, We'll go Donkey Kong Land. Look at that. Not as much of a bop of a song, but... Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, I changed my mind. It's a good one. Alright. No, no. Don't get stuck playing a game. Oh, we got cases! Oh, I always love it when they come in cases. They're so handy. Okay. Quick roll through. I... I don't know. I can't read Japanese. But that's one that I don't know. Flipple. An exciting cube game. I'm hooked. And... Oh! Pokemon. Is that gold? I think so. But if it's not, I'm very sorry. And we got, what's this one? I can't even read that. Something 96. Nice. And then lucky last, Mario. What's he doing? 
it's full Japanese, so I can't read it, but I, I want to say it's Super Mario Bros. 2, 6 gold coins. We'll say it is, but that, that should be fine. Like, even though that's Japanese, I don't think there's that much dialogue in it or writing or anything, so you could probably still play that even if you don't speak Japanese. Okay, and we're on to the last one, which is, it's not a pocket, so you'll be happy with that. It is a Game Boy Advance. Oh, that's right, it's missing the battery cover. But that's that's a nice shell. That's pretty good condition. How, that doesn't really feel very, it feels weird, but okay. We'll, go, we'll test a little Dr. Mario on this one. And flicker on. That took a good while. Whoa! Little Dr. Mario track remix. Does anyone know what you need to do? I've never played this before. That sounded good, I think. I've got no clue. I'll move this out the way. And show everyone my fully sick Game Boys. All right, that's not a bad haul. It did cost me a little bit. Um, I'll bring up the Sendico information for it and we can have a look at how much everything costs. Okay, so I've got all of them here. So if you can see there, so the one of the yellows and the Game Boy Advance with a bunch of games was one bundle. Pokemon Red with this one was another and then this green one was that. Game Boy Color was another bundle and then these three, the DMG, the silver, the gold pocket and the purple color was one other bundle and then the yellow one by itself. So overall for all of this I paid 23,318 yen which I believe overall total for everything here including including shipping was 369 Australian dollars. So it's definitely pricey but at the end of the day it's not. If I was to buy all these in good condition um, at the same, like on eBay, all good condition, uh, I'd be looking at like a lot more. So I'm happy with this. I get to make videos about it as well. I'm going to be making videos soon on fixing them, cleaning them, doing all sorts of stuff. I'm happy with this little Sendico package. It's made me happy and now I have more things to do. So if you liked this video of me just unboxing some, some sweet, sweet Game Boys, please leave a comment, do a like, all the things like that. And I will see you guys in the next video, um, which will be involving probably a lot of these. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.